Hello, everyone. It's me, Will, and I'm joined by Ian Gibson. Ian, would you like hi. to say hi? <gasps> he said hi, hi everybody. Hi. Wow. Wow. Hi. This is this is my new character called Bad Intros. <gasps> I play wow. him every stream. Hi. Wow. It's him. It's a good hi. thing I muted you. Hi. I'm drinking a glass of wine with ice cubes in it because I abhor warm drinks. Wait, 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 wait a minute. There's okay. There's a right answer and there's a wrong answer to this. Is it white wine or red wine? White wine. Okay, that's. I think that's allowed. Like, if you need to emergency chill white wine, you can use ice cubes. Oh, I'll chill red wine. That's. I'll chill anything. Well, you need to chill out, bro. We need to chill out and play some Mario Maker. <laughs> I hate this overlay it's not perfect in my eyes because i want the video to not be covered up but i don't want to make it smaller it's it's great it really is it's close the it's charity perfect. one's pretty good let me all right let me just pop over the charity one quick this one's pretty good it's That's a little cluttered life? but the, well this is the one we did for the was it black lives matter it wasn't black lives matter but it was uh, during the protest we did a charity stream yeah uh that was a good one anyways i'll transition back here um, um, yeah, so we're going to play some, uh, Mario Maker, because it's yes. been a while. Uh, Just we have a, this... uh, you quick go... shout out to the chat. If you're in the chat, you want us to play your level, all you got to do is put the code in the chat, and we'll add it to the list. We only have one level in the list right now. Yeah, so all you got to do is Boogaloo. Add, add your level, and we'll play it right after this one. Do it. You won't. You oh, won't boy. do it. Look at this sweet electric boy. How long has it been since you played a Mario game? Um, I played about 15 minutes before the stream to kind of get my ball bearings. Okay, before that, though. I died. Before you got your ball bearings. Um, was probably the, the last time we did this. You liked the ball okay. bearings joke, didn't you? A couple months ago. I did. You know what? Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Take your right hand, just reach over your shoulder, pat yourself on the back. Oh, God. Ow, Ian. Oh, hard. Oh, well, it was a good one. That's why. <laughs> you know, it's it's hard. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. So it's been a while. I, you know, honestly, I wanted to. The last time my Mario brain was kind of fervored was um those rumors about the thirty. Oh, I'm an idiot. The thirty-five year anniversary, like remasters. Yes. Um, I was like all ready to like play Galaxy and all that stuff. Yes. And, uh, didn't happen. And yes. well, it hasn't happened yet. Supposedly, it will happen. Um. This is a neat yes. Level. When do you think the next uh, Nintendo Direct will be? I don't know. They can be whenever because Nintendo has no rules. Come Nendo on. ain't got no rules, boy, boy, boy. How many? There we go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What's oh. up, Killer Q? And by Killer Q, I mean Killer, and you wrote Q? Q Q. Um. So what you been up to, baby boy? I have. I tried to talk about this on Arma. But then I realized we are way too focused on Arma to ever talk about video games. Um, I have been playing through all the Halo games. Oh, what are you up to? Uh, I beat two and three over the weekend, and I'm almost done with four. Uh, how's your... Okay, here's my hot take. You ready for my hot take? Hot take. I feel like... I feel like I need to go back and revisit this to confirm this, but my memory of all of the Halo games is that about halfway through they just kind of get stale and it's just a slog to the end and they may have one or two banger missions left but it's basically like a third to a halfway into a Halo it's all downhill from there is that true um I would say that's true with probably every Halo X three three is good the whole way through I love three. I need I need to replay three I feel like three for me was I got excited for it but I don't think I remember enjoying it quite as much but I'm starting to think it wasn't the game it was more just I wasn't in a great headspace to play Halo. you know what I mean because I was I think I was a junior 
in high school when Halo 3 came out. So I think I was, was starting to mature. I was maturing so, out of the Halo. So, um, yeah. Halo to me is, to read this Halo is the game that I followed. Like, that was right when I became, like, I, I like following video games on the internet. I like, like, mm -hmm. like, I read articles about video games, all that sort of stuff. That's kind of when I decided that, like, video games is my hobby. So that's why, yeah. oh, dang it. I, like, I, I have memories of, like, reading through the magazine um, at the airport with my aunt. And I have, <laughs> I have the, because it was revealed in, like, EGM. And I still have a sealed copy of the magazine that it was revealed in. Wow. Um, That's pretty crazy. Like, yeah. I remember getting hyped for it as well and getting it launch morning. I drove to Walmart to pick it up at 6 a.m. as soon as they opened. And I just remember not being super wowed by it. But I, I definitely need to, to revisit it. it. I'm thinking I, I, I need to at least play ODST and Halo 5 before Halo Infinite comes out. Yeah. Because I have not played those. I'm not sure if I'll have time to read this in 3. ODST is great. Um, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, 3, three is just so good. Um, and literally, I beat it in like 4 hours. It, like I just threw it on normal, and I put the weird some of the weird skulls on. Uh, uh, I did the same thing with 2, which didn't have skulls back when I last played it. Uh, yeah. And I, I beat it. I beat them both within 2 days of each other. Um, well, I don't I don't mean to, to interrupt you here, but we have a special guest in the chat. <gasps> Super Mario is here. Mr. The star Super of Super Mario. Mario Maker. That's incredible. Ah, thank you so much for joining us. It's, I don't think we've ever had a celebrity cameo on this I stream. I know. Uh, anything you want to say, uh, Mr. Super Mario? Oh, that's not what anything I Anything at all. Say. Anything at all. Um, wow, that's I incredible. have a new level lined up, by the way, if you would like oh, to. Oh, yes, I would, because this one's killing me. I like it, though. So these are all fan submitted levels. They are just from previous streams that we did not get to. We like to keep them in the hopper because uh, streams tend to start a little slow. So it's always nice to have stuff to, to fill the uh, the start of a stream. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Halo 3 is really good. Halo 4, it's funny, I was thinking about it. The last time I ha played Halo 4 was the day it came out and Zach and I beat it. Um, co -op. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I played Halo 4, I want to say four or five years ago. It was after it, it was a couple years after it came out, but I was like, you know what, I should probably play this. And I think I rented it and played it and beat it, and I was just kind of like, I mean, it, it's a good tech showcase for the Xbox One. Oh, yeah. But other than that, I just was not impressed with it as a Halo. Actually, can you look that up? Because we were talking about this the other day. I don't remember if it was... It launched 360 and Xbox One at the same time. The, the Halo 4? Halo 4. That is 100%. I'm looking it up, but it is 100%. Because I played it on the 360. So. You did not play Halo 4 on the 360. I, I did play it on the 360. You did not play Halo 4 on the 360. I did play Halo 4 on the 360. You... Oh my god, it was a 360 game. Now, was it 360 and Xbox One simultaneously, or no? Because it was like 2014? 11? Um, no, Reach was 2010. It was 2012. Ah, okay, it was. So it was before the Xbox One came out. Wow, that game is a lot older than I thought it was. Yeah, it was 2012 Xbox 360, 2014 Xbox One. You know what? Okay, I'm just going to take, take a slight thing here. That like 2008 to 2012, I was kind of following video games, but I was in college and I basically couldn't play anything except for really like PC indie games that could run on my laptop. Hey, so thanks my for subscribing, Super Mario. It's a truly so my, honor. My memory of dates around like 2008 to 2012 is all over the place. Um, nope. Yeah, well. that is... Yeah, so that's the last time I played that game was that release date you were looking at. <laughs> that's crazy. So that means Halo 5 is the only... Wow. So I'm just looking at this. So Halo 1 and 2 was Xbox. Halo 3, ODST, Reach, and 4 were all 360. And there was only one Xbox One Halo game, which is Guardians. Halo 5. 
I'm not sure that I... I'll, I'll count Halo Infinite because we know it's coming out on that, but that's... I, I feel like that is not a 360 game. That is just a... That is an Xbox Series X game. That is... I'm sorry, that's not an Xbox One game, even though it's being released on both. Thanks yeah. for the level code, Super Mario. I'm adding it to the list um, right now. Man, it didn't play Thank You, Stranger, for me. I'm very upset. Um, I can check that. Sometimes I feel like it just doesn't. I thought I had changed it for all of the different types of subs. Yeah, it's crazy that basically the, um... The Xbox One only got one Halo game, and the Xbox yeah. 360 got four Halo games. Granted, I think the Xbox One got oh, crap. like the they it had all the I mean obviously the MCC, but also I don't think Halo Two was remastered until Xbox One. Uh, it was not Halo got. Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary came out for the 360. I don't know if it's an enhanced remake. So, well, yeah. Halo 1 Anniversary was the first... is pretty much the one that's in the MCC. It was the first remake. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm not... You know what? I don't know if that's... But it, it, it wasn't... Uh, I don't mean to say it was part of the MCC. It, that was conceived after Anniversary came out. Yeah, I'm just wondering... Yeah, it says right here, and re-released as part of the Halo Master Chief Collection. It's weird that they didn't do any work on it, considering it was made for the 360. Mm. Um, um, still looks great, though. Okay, yeah. all right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Ready. Thank you, <gasps> I got it. Okay, so that's a follow. Thank you, stranger. Okay, that's good. Okay. Thank you, stranger. Getting it? Yeah, I don't know why it does the old noise sometimes. Because that is that's a follow, a subscription, and a resub. Weird. And I think I changed it on all of them. So who knows? Anyways. I'm enjoying this level. Uh well we've got a level for you from the chat. Oh yeah, I'll do that. Um Yeah, Are so you, I, I've been um, enjoying it. Four's yeah. weird. And just to say it, um, have you changed your position at all on Halo Infinite with a lot of the stuff coming out? I don't know if you watched the Digital Foundry video on it. Uh, no, I did not. It's I, I would highly recommend it because they it's basically a guy who knows his stuff about game engines and graphics. And basically the conclusion he comes to is, um, I can't remember the technical term for it, but basically Halo Infinite is using a lighting engine and a lighting technique that is current generation. And that does not look good in shadows. Or it only looks, it looks great in direct light, but it doesn't look that good in indirect light. And a majority of the demo takes place in indirect light, like behind hills or behind buildings. Gotcha. Um, and he goes through the entire thing how, like, Halo 3 looks fantastic because all the shadows on the gun are baked into the texture. Um, so basically, like, the shadows you see on the gun will not change no matter what the lighting is. Whereas, uh, I, I think it's called dynamic lighting, where basically, um, with the engine that most modern games use and that Halo Infinite is using, the lighting system will determine the shadows on the gun, but it really only works when it's in direct light or in direct line of a light source. So if it's in the shadow, like behind a mountain or behind a building, it looks flat. Gotcha. Um, and he does a really good analysis of it. So he's like, he's like, it doesn't, it's not as bad as you thought, but it's still like, this is not a next gen game and they're not using next gen lighting. And then he said, he's surprised they're not using ray tracing, but at the, but at the same time, it needs to be an Xbox one game because that's their strategy. And then the devs came out with the, an answer like a day or two after the trailer. And they basically said, we will be offering ray tracing in a future patch for Halo Infinite, oh, okay. which which should fix a lot of those problems. But he also he also did have some negative words to say about the textures and basically saying they're relying heavily on the lighting to the extent that a lot of the textures by default are flat and non-detailed because they're expecting the lighting to add detail. And the problem is the way the demo is shot and where it's shot. There's like 
barely any lighting. So it, it makes everything look flat because the textures are flat and there's no lighting to make them pop. So it, it's kind of an interesting thing where he's just like, he's like, this is why it looks like this. I could understand that if it's a current gen game, but it doesn't really make sense as a next gen game. Yeah. And also there's, there's just like some questionable decisions made on having super flat textures and also having a majority of the demo take place in the shade where it doesn't look good. Yeah. Um, so that, that was just kind of an interesting video. I, I think I'm very excited for the gameplay. I'm like, open world, bring it. You know, I think there's, I don't, okay, okay, riddle me this. I'm trying to think of great open world shooters within the past three years. I think Far Cry is the only other one that is a competitor, but it's lost its steam. Yeah. Rage didn't do well. Rage 2. Yeah, that's that's all I can think of for open world first person shooters. So that's why I'm very excited for Halo taking it in that direction. Because it looks like it's great Halo combat, uh, but, well, like, but in an open world format. I was going to say the new Metro, but that doesn't really count. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's zones. Yeah, well, Halo could be zones, so. So I'm excited. Yeah, I'm super excited for it. Other than Halo, anything else you've been playing? Um, I've been playing more Noida, which is that, uh, like, every pixel simulated game. Yeah. Um, that's super fun. I've been playing a little bit of Euro Truck. Um, but yeah, nothing else. I, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, I last played, I think, last Saturday. Sure. Tsushima. Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. I, um, can I just say, like, like I am starting to get a little peeved at all the podcasts that keep saying Tsushima when it's like they're talking about how, oh, yeah, I beat Ghost of Tsushima last night. And it's like, how could you continue to say it wrong? You know? <laughs> it's like you heard it a 100,000 times during the game. So it's just kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, I really don't care. People... People who are like super into the game can't even pronounce it right. Um, it's tough to pronounce it, but it's just weird hearing people like heap all sorts of praise on a game and can't even pronounce it properly. What are you yeah. What are you doing? I'm waiting for a new level. Didn't I? I did you already play? Yes, Super I just Mario? beat it. Are you sh Are you sure? Can you double check? Because I just switched that. Oh, maybe I'm crazy. Um, folks in the chat, we are looking for levels. Just uh, throw your level code in the chat and we'll add it to the list. Also, we are looking for Halo Infinite Impressions and PS5 versus Xbox Series X. Hot takes, hot takes only. Which console are you preferring? Are you going to buy either of them? Let me know. I beat it. Okay. All right. Let me put this here then. Doop, 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 doop. Um, are you, so I, so you're still playing Tsushima? Yeah, I just I haven't had time to sit down and play it, and when I do, I have like 30 minutes, and I I was like, oh, I can just beat a Halo mission rather than uh, yeah, and like get Halo's a little better. bit away. Well, so. that's not true. Not Halo 4. Uh, that's true. Halo yeah, 3, I think yeah. I, I was doing that. I was basically playing like 30 minutes to an hour each day of Tsushima, and... I kind of got to this point where I started catching up on podcasts because I, I was behind a bit. So the podcast I was listening to mainly Giant Bombcast, Giant Beastcast, and the Easy Allies started talking about it in depth. And they were all like, yeah, it's good, but there's not much to it. And they're like, once you've done these things, then you're pretty much, that's it. And it doesn't really evolve beyond that. And I was like, oh no, I've done all those things. So I've kind of just <laughs> lost. So I, I beat Act 1, I got to the second island, and I think that's going to be it for me. Yeah. Hi, Neil. Yeah, the, the, the nice thing, like, I get all the arguments because I see them all, but the nice thing is, um, oops, I died. Oh. It's, it's a game that hits me in that way that I just want to play it because I like playing it. Yeah, and that's just nice. Um, which it happens to me with a lot of like video games that aren't that good. Um, yeah. So it kind of works out. Yeah, it's like it's like me with with Origins. It hits you at the right time, the right moment, and you're just kind of. I also it. feel like I haven't played a lot of open world games in the past 
uh, yeah. 10 years. Like, I, there's a lot I missed, so it's kind of making up for all that. And I've never played a Sucker Punch game. Yeah. Um, I've never played a Sucker Punch game either, now that I think about it. Um, Actually, that's not true. I started, uh, uh, whatever it was called. Um, I feel like, um, I would have enjoyed Tsushima a lot more if I hadn't played Origins, because I, just because I think Origins scratched that open world itch for me. And then Tsushima's not doing enough new stuff, or it, it doesn't have enough variety. And I think the other problem is that I recently started playing Arma 3 again. And all sorts of other games and stuff that are popping up. So it's like, it's not engaging enough for me. And I've got other stuff that is more engaging. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to sink like probably like four or five hours into it tomorrow. How um, far are you? I'm, I just started Act 2. Like I got to the other island, but I went yeah. back because I want to because uh, once you go to the other island it like other villages get taken over on the other island so I went back oh yeah I think I think the other thing is that it sounds like a lot of that stuff is just not worth it because you don't really have to grind to unlock techniques and stances like that just kind of comes as you're playing the game yeah and it's really only like specific charms or armor sets that you want to go for but that's none of those require a grind it's just going to find the specific starting mission to do it yeah um and i i heard that act two is like the worst act in the game so i'm gonna pass on the advice that i got which is just try and get through act two main story as quickly as possible um not to beat the game but to just like get through it it's not worth it the yeah. slog in a way. I, I just, there's just not really enough. I think the main story and I think the main side quest have really good, have pretty good story beats and decent variety, but like everything else is just way too samey. And the combat is just not difficult. So. Very pretty game though. Very pretty. I think they got kind of that like romanticized vision of Japanese history. Yeah, it's like it. apparently a stellar seller in Japan. Yes, yeah. I think it's I think it's kind of like spaghetti westerns where yeah. it is a foreigner romanticizing a vision of American history and it's not based necessarily in reality, it's based on the the imagery and poeticism of it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. So, I'll be playing it more. Um, um, any other any other games you've been playing lately? I want to say there's something else, but can't think of it. Um, I've I've had a a mood. It's funny now that I'm working again, mostly full time, and I don't have time to play video games. Uh, I like want to play more video games, so I'm I'm trying oh, yeah. to go through what on my GOG because I I, I want to at least once a month either play a lot or beat an old game, um, like something on my list. Not I'm not saying an yeah. old bad game. I just mean like well, a game that is significant I mean, say, or anything like that. You, you say that, but you, you play a lot of old bad games, though. So. Right. But I just mean, like, like I started Elder Scrolls Arena. I figured I'll just play through that. And oh. that, that could be fun. Um, so I, I, I want to play through that. But, uh, yeah. Maybe this weekend. Who knows? What about um, you? Are you playing anything good? I've been playing a lot of Arma 3. So, for those of you who missed it, we are starting a brand new series. We had our first episode this past Tuesday. Well, our episode one, we had an episode zero earlier, called Brothers in Arma, and it's basically the three of us playing Arma 3 missions, uh, community-made missions. And we're having a lot of fun with it. I I feel like I need to get better at the game, so I've been doing some single-player missions and stuff like that. But lately, I've been getting into the mission editor. Have you have you done any Arma three editing? No, I didn't, you, I know you mentioned it's kind of like the Halo Forge. 
yeah it's it's all i don't know i don't know what i want to call it. it's all in engine so yeah. basically you you're rotating the camera around you can drag and drop items but then it it's pretty robust so you can act you can put down trigger volumes and waypoints and define ui and then it has all sorts of scripting interfaces so you can script some heavier stuff in i i started playing around with it and it's actually really good because like i was i was doing something with uh, oh i wanted to call in artillery I wanted to be like, uh, I'm not sure I know how to call in artillery. So I just like booted up the editor, placed some artillery. I put myself in and then I put like enemies like 500 meters away. And I just spawned right in and I call, like practice calling in artillery on the enemy. So it's like, it's really good for just like practicing quick scenarios. Because you just like throw together exactly what you want and then you can practice it. Um, but actually what I've been doing the past, I started it yesterday. I don't think it'll take me that long. I'm making a mission. I'm making a multiplayer mission. Um, it's probably going to be about an hour in length, but not not horribly complicated. But I'm pretty excited. I think I'm going to finish it, and then I think we should play it on stream, and I'll play with you guys, but I'll be backseat. I won't give away anything. Um, I'm pretty excited. It should be it should be fun. I, I'm making like a... I don't want to say a showcase, but it's a nice little mission that's got some variety to it and stuff. Um, whoa. and then, um, the other thing I've been playing is I got my flight joystick today. Nice. Yeah. So I bought it for Microsoft Flight Simulator, which comes out August 18th, but I wanted to test it out. I actually tested it out in Arma just because I, I, I knew how to quickly get in a plane and kind of fly around. I somehow, I don't, I don't think, so I went to my Steam library, right? Mm -hmm. And I typed in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't own Microsoft Flight Simulator Steam Edition. Oh, which, is there a Steam Edition? There is a Steam Edition. It came out, I'm gonna think, I think like 10 years ago. And it's just, it's just Microsoft Flight Simulator, what is it called? X, whatever the last one was. Um, and... The weird thing is, I've played that game recently. And I know I have a copy. Dang it, and mother... I... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Hi, Xavier. Hi, Xavier. Hi, Neil. Uh, if, if you guys have more levels for us, just throw them in the chat. Our queue is empty right now, so we can just... Yeah, totally. Throw it right on up at the top. Um, I... The other thing is, I found this really cool... I think I'm going to try DCS. You know DCS, right? DCS World. Yes. That's like the Warthog and all that stuff. Yeah, it's like super realistic military plane simulator. So they have, they have the P-51. They have F-16, F-18. They have they actually have a free version now, which has one or two planes in it. So I think I'm going to try booting that up and see how that feels. Um, I think, honestly, that's pretty much it. I just... I haven't been playing many video games lately. I think uh, Stushima just kind of um, drained me in a bit, you know? Yeah. Um, I have been doing models, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, How are your models coming? Oh, come on, you oh, dumb Let me buddy. tell you something. Let me tell you something, buddy. Bye, Neil. Thanks for joining. Bye, Neil. Um, Thanks for subscribing, Xavier. You know how Gunpla is kind of looked down in the in the model industry because they're like, oh, it's snapped together. Oh, it's pre-painted. Oh, it's yeah. stupid anime. Granted, I'm I'm only doing an Airfix kit right now, but Airfix is supposed to be good quality British made. Gunpla is infinitely superior. <laughs> and it's it has nothing to do with paint. It has a little bit to do with paint. It has nothing to do with glue. It's that I'm doing this airfix kit, and, like, the sprues are so dirty. Like, there are pieces that I'm cutting off the sprue, and it has... Oh. <laughs> and it has all this, like, flashing on it. Like, it's just a dirty piece. Oh, yeah. And it's... And Gunpla doesn't do that. Gunpla has very, very clean sprues. And it's, it's no. just... And there's... There's pieces where the sprue 
is bigger and thicker than the piece is. So basically, by cutting the sprue off, there's a 99% chance that you're actually going to cut the piece or the piece is going to snap just from the pressure of cutting the sprue. What level? Oh, yeah, you're going to uh, Xavier's level. Yeah, I'm just doing it. Five uh, so, long story short, it's very frustrating. The pieces aren't molded great. They barely even fit, so you try and glue them. And then the other thing is, like, they're either too loose or too tight, so then you got to, like, shave them or you got to pack them or hold them. Yeah. The glue, it's it's just like... And the other thing was... I don't think this is just Airfix, but I, apparently Airfix has it worse than most. If you try and paint directly onto the Airfix parts right off the sprue, the paint doesn't stick. So it's almost like a watercolor where you're kind of moving the paint around oh. and it's not actually adhering to the surface. So I had to use a primer. Thank God I had a primer. I had to use a primer on all of the parts before I could even hand paint them because otherwise the paint was not adhering properly. That's annoying. Yeah, it's it's just... And then I like I have pieces that I'm starting to put together where it's like three or four pieces going together and they're not really fitting great. So then you got to like sand or squeeze them a little bit and they don't line up right even when they are fitting. Yeah, they're just they're not they're not well made kits. And then it's like, OK, well, now I have a giant seam. This one has like a gouge on it because the sprue went with it. This one has a gouge because I had to take flashing off. They're just. It's a shame. I feel like Bandai should become a model monopoly and make all models in the world because well, it's so much better. It's also, it's, I don't know if I mentioned this when you first took me to uh, Gundam Planet, but the reason I was so amazed is because the model kits at Gundam are so cheap because they're so popular. Like if you mm -hmm. want a, a kit of Gundam Bandai quality that is like what you're looking for, like Airfix type stuff, like you need yeah. to spend like a hundred to like a hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, that's just that's. Crazy. And the reason oh, Bandai yeah. can bring that down so much is because so many people buy them, and yeah. they have a streamlined process. And they have a monopoly on the license, so it's not like there's yeah. thirty different companies making P fifty one models. So that's the like main re like you can get a quality model like Gundam that might even be better, but it's just yeah. going to cost you way more. Yeah, and it's a shame. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this airfix together. I'm gonna take it through to the end, and then I'm also going to I bought like a NASCAR. It's like a '90s NASCAR model when I was in Dallas back in March because it was on sale for like seven bucks. So I'm gonna buy that and I'll paint it. I'll probably do that half hand paint and half spray paint. Yeah. But I think after that I'm just going right back to Gunpla because. Oh, I, I say that, but I may I may actually buy a Tamiya kit because my hope is that Tamiya quality, because it's another well-renowned Japanese brand like Bandai, that Tamiya models have that same quality level to them, at least in terms of the sprue. Like like the glue and the paint doesn't bother me that much. Yeah. It's just I want I want the sprue to be a good quality so I can actually like cut it, trim it, sand it a little bit. It looks good. With the Airfix, it's like. It's almost impossible to get the parts off this brew without them being damaged. And then you have to trim them so much with the, with the flashing and all. It's just, ugh. Um, but yeah, I think I may just go back to, to Gunpla. I, I do still want to paint. So I probably will get an airbrush eventually. Because I think that's much preferred to the hand painting. Even though I'm not as bad at the hand painting as I thought it would be. Hey! Boom! Great level. All right, yeah, folks, we are taking fun. levels. Uh, just throw your code in the chat and we'll play it. I beat um, that one in time, too. Perfect. Yeah, so, so long story short, my adventure, my foray into possibly doing plane and or car models, it's not going well. And I thought it would be me, and I think it's only... 40% me, 60% the models are just not up to snuff compared to Gunpla. Um, yeah. Gunpla's just so good. So. I wish, yeah, the only problem is, like, I wish they had things other than Gunpla, like Gundam models. Yes. They do have really good, Bandai does do really good 
Star Wars. Yeah, models. I, I have a couple of those and uh, that I've built. And then yeah, uh, I'm gonna look it up. The, Let's the see what else they got. Space battleships. Good. Can you swap the code so I can read it? By the way. Yes. Sorry. No worries. Put it in the wrong place. Um, I'm gonna look up what other models. I think they may have some Dragon Ball Z models. Yeah, I remember Pat Bear on one of the Giant Bomb East things brought a snap together uh, Dragon Ball Z model. I'm sweaty today. That's uh, quite frankly a, a little. Well, let's be honest. It's a lot of disgusting. Yeah, I gotta trim my beard too. Let's see what Bandai has. No. Bandaihobby.net slash SW slash English underscore Asia. Oh no, wait, I'm gonna go to this. <gasps> you butthole. Okay, let's see. For overseas customers, Asia, North America. Oh, Blue Bluefin Brands. That's right. Yeah. So they have um, oh. DBZ Evangelion. Bandai also did the really cool samurai style star wars figures if you've seen those oh that was them i was wondering if you did those yeah they're really and that's that's good they look really good um are those star built wars or are those already built I... Budge, pop, poop. you know I'm not sure. Well, let's look it up. Oh, you know what? Yeah, those are, I think those are pre built. Oh, oh I did that wrong. Dead. Yeah, they've got a lot of cool, like, they have a Jedi Starfighter, they have a Bing oh, Wing. Oh, I like that. Might be a little hard to find it, but because I haven't seen that in most of the U.S. stores. They have a Rogue One Tie Striker. They have. Uh, I'm looking at a Yoda and a, a Han Solo Stormtrooper, and these. I can't tell if these are models or not. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's yeah. a mistake. The Han Solo uh, Stormtrooper is a... It is a model. You ever look at, like, the Hot Toys action figures? Yeah. Hi, like... Robster. I'm adding your level to the list right now. Thank you, Robster. Oh, you poop. Thanks, Robster. You pooped. Every time somebody says hot toys, I just think of like marital aids. You know what I mean? <laughs> I always get that anytime someone puts the word adult before something. I assume they're talking about like yes. sexy things, like adult diapers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was like, oh, this ride's for adults. I'm like, what? Yeah, it is. What's wrong with this merry go round? Yeah, it is, baby. Okay. How am I supposed to get this over to that guy? It's hard to find a just flat list of these are all the Bandai models. Yes, I had a trouble with that too because I just wanted a website that told me all the Space Battleship Yamato stuff. Oh, come yeah. on. Yeah. And I couldn't find it. I was upset. Because okay, there's so one I model I want and I want to tell Gundam Planet that I wanted to special order something, but I, I can't find it anymore because they don't have it listed anymore. Yeah. Okay, so I found their, I found the Japanese Bandai website. They do 
it's hard to tell which of these are models. They have some Iron Man stuff, a lot of Ultraman, Gundam, Evangelion. Never seen Ultraman. Idolmaster, Space Battleship, Yamato. <gasps> what is it? It's 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 Yamato. It's Yamato. How is it pronounced? Yamato. 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 Dude, that's the one that I keep. I, I either want to say Yamoto or yeah, that's that's basically what I'm I want to say. say Yamoto or Yamada. That's Yamato. Yeah. Or Yamamoto. Sometimes Yamamoto, I want to say that. Yeah. I want to actually game. build a a model of the actual World War II ship. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Uh, dang it. Hurt myself. Gosh darn it! Tiddly Gosh, winkers! Tiddly winkers. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Gosh, Tiddly winkers. Um, okay. yeah, th those models are really cool. And actually, I found out those models are just like better versions of the ones that were actually out in like the 80s and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Because they yeah. do that with, with Gundam. They'll go back to... Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a previous model that they've released, but a previous Gundam that they've released a model for. And they do like a... I forget what they call it, but they like make a better version of it so it's like Got better a, articulation, more details. A refit? Yeah, they have a name for it. I think it's Ka, like oh. Rev Ka or something. Oh, yes, because I've seen that on things and I've wondered what it is. Yeah. Oh, I can't kill this man. Okay. Whew. I'm going to end this level. All right. Next nope. up. I hit start over because I'm an idiot. Rapster Popster. It's your time to shine, baby boy. Here you go, Folks, baby boy. Folks, we are looking for levels. Please give us levels. Us to play your level we don't want to play just random we don't want to play from some internet list we want to play your levels i want to sweat we for should, you we should make an announcement uh, what's our announcement way. folks i have some fantastic news hot off the press hot off decided the press. less than 24 hours ago folks we're back that's right we're back November 7th, we will be doing Extra Life again this year. <gasps> yes, we will. 25-hour charity stream. How much did we raise last year? I want to look 300 it up. 300-something? I think it was either 300 or 400. There's no way it was 400. Are you sure? Well, actually, we did that Tuesday afterwards, and I don't know how much we made that day, so we, we could we be made, right. We may have made, like, $12 extra. Daddy don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find it. What daddy don't know won't daddy don't hurt him. Daddy don't know what daddy can't hurt him. Daddy don't, daddy you don't know. know what daddy can't know if you can't know what daddy don't know. You know Regardless, I mean? um we're gonna be back on November 7th. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna be doing it remote, fully remote because of COVID. Thanks, COVID. But honestly, um I think we can totally handle it. It's gonna be better than last year, crazier than last year. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a great time. So if you're having fun watching this stream, we're definitely going to be doing some Super Mario Maker 2 during that 25-hour stream. So uh, put that on your calendars. November 7th, Extra Life. It's 8 a.m. Eastern to 8 a.m. Eastern. Oh, boy, folks, we are looking for levels. Just, Give us uh, your levels, please. Yeah. And our Mixer audience was huge for this game. Big. Big. Yeah. They've also got Slave 1. Which is oh, cool. I've got a lot of good stuff. Little Bandai. Boba Fett. Slaving away. List of all Bandai model kits. Hi, my name is Ian. I am a bad boy. You're a bad boy. 
big boy. You're a big boy? Wow. Big as can be. So happy for you being so, so big. Are you sleeping? Daddy hung. Daddy hung? Wait. Daddy hungry. Daddy hungry? I'm sorry. Daddy. <gasps> oh, they made some... Oh. There's a pre-order for Pokemon kits. Pokemon kits? Oh, you know what they do have? Oh my god. Did I actually... Did I... I think I did. Okay, give me a second. Let me confirm that I got this. Which I think I did, because... I did. Bandai is coming out on September 30th, which, holy crap, is only a month away. Wow. No, two, two months away. Two Sorry. months. They're coming out with, I don't know if you saw it, but it is a full-size, highly detailed, one-to-one -one scale model of Cup Noodle. Oh, yes, I saw that. I pre-ordered I pre it. It's only 26 bucks, and I was like, hell That's yeah. Pretty good. Oh, it's only 26 bucks? I should have done that. I saw, yeah, I think Wario64 tweeted it a couple times. It's like, it's crazy, because they could have just, like, really just been lazy with it, but they totally did not. They have an exploded view showing all the parts, and there's a lot of parts. <laughs> like, if you think about, like, the the red ring and the yellow rings around the cup, those are separate parts <laughs> that, like, get sandwiched together into the cup, and then there's the ramen noodles are different parts on the inside. And then each shrimp is a different part. That's pretty good. It's, it actually looks like a really good model. Oh, boy. How's it going, by the way? You've been playing the Mario's? Yeah, this level's pretty good. Oh, it sent you back. Yo, oh, you know what? We didn't discuss it. How do you think um, Dungeons & Dragons went this past Sunday? I think it went really well. Um, I'm just curious from the DM perspective, I'm not, not that I'm asking for spoilers or anything, but is, is everything going roughly how you thought it would go given your pre-read or are things going differently? Like what's your opinions on the campaign and the progress of the campaign so far? Uh, yeah, that part's going pretty well. Um, uh, we didn't get as far as I wanted to. It's, it's weird. Like you, you think like, oh, it's A, B and C. And they'll get through A, B, and C in this amount of time, but then yeah. they do A, A2, A3, A4, and don't go yeah, directly don't. to B. Okay. Yeah, we don't we don't really know first of all that there is an A, B, and C and what A, B, and C is. So yeah. yeah we'll do all sorts of stuff. Um yeah, I think it's going pretty well. No. Yeah, I'm excited mm. for uh next sesh. No! Is Zach Daddy died. Come in the next session. I believe no? so. Okay, just let me know if he is, because I can type up a summary from my notes so he can catch up. Yeah, I need I, to I type up a summary. Pretty good notes. Oh yeah, if you want to yeah. actually type up like a, you can do the little preamble before we start. Yeah, and I think I don't not to serious but I think it would be better coming from me because then it's you may not give away information. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. I just may need some help on some of the names because I was like writing them down and who knows if they're actually accurate. Yeah, that's fine. I I have to go in. I, I've already started laying out for next session, but uh, I've mm -hmm. got to go in and uh, add journal entries. And so you can type into the journal right in the thing if you want. Really? Yes. That's... I... Oh, you know what? I did want to do that because I have a loud keyboard, so I'm doing it by hand. Gotcha. Daddy's got a loud keys. My keys it's funny, are loud. Uh, my buddy who does the around the monitor, they just started doing a D&D &D thing. They're stealing I said, from us? I said, way to copy me. <laughs> you trying to do cuck me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then he, oh. <laughs> then he blindfolded me. Uh, <laughs> blind... <laughs> well, that's what's gotta happen. I wonder if snap tight is any good. Which one's different? I don't know. Snap the P block Figures. instead of a question block. Yeah, I got it right.
Man, Mario Maker, not the cash cow it used to be. Okay, this one. Yes! Got it right. Great job! I love these levels. They're really well done. Yeah, and they're nice little screen size puzzles. Oh, you know what? Fresh quote from 343 Industries. Quote, we have work to do to address some of these areas and raise the level of fidelity and overall presentation for the final game. Uh, they also said that the campaign demo was from a week's old version of the work in progress game that didn't have a number of graphical features in place or polished yet. That will change come launch. Oh, this is cool. Nice. Man, I don't know if you saw, but there are, um, there was like a, a week or 10 day long preview period for journalists and other insiders for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I believe the, um, what's it called? The embargo lifted today. So there was a lot of impressions like PC Gamer and Kotaku and Joystick and The Verge and all these people came out and were basically like, I've played this game for a week and it is phenomenal. Yeah. Like, and Digital Foundry had, had a video, it wasn't super in depth, but they were basically just like, hey, here's roughly how it's performing. And basically they were like, some of the screenshots and videos, the clouds look incredible. Yeah, that's the one like, one part of that Digital Foundry video I watched was them saying that. Yeah, and and like the satellite tech is where it's basically like, like machine learning using satellite imagery to draw 3D terrain and buildings and stuff. They say it's like, it, it works. And it's it's not even a super, a super drain on the PC, like, like you'll definitely need something beefy to play it above 1080p, but they were using like a, I think some, I think they were using like a 1060 at 1080p and they were still getting 30 frames per second on medium settings, which they said looked great. So they're basically talking about how like the game runs, runs good, but looks phenomenal. So, and like, and like the satellite tech works and it feels great. And the, the interface they said is great because it's basically like there's like a world map where you're just like, pick where you want to go, spawn in, you're good to go. And then um, they kind of confirmed, I, I don't think any of this, all of this had already been announced, but it's a lot of like buzzword stuff that you could definitely see not being true. And they were saying works, which is if you want it to, and I think by default it does, it syncs up with real time weather and real time air traffic which I'll, is insane i want to say x did that at least did the real time weather uh, yes not, i believe the weather not yeah. the real time uh graphic. but yeah and they were talking about how the multiplayer is set up uh, i need to dig into this more but it, one of the articles made it sound like the multiplayer is kind of like forza horizon where it's just going to by default put other people in your world nice um, and then on top of the, the, the simulated real time air traffic is going to be, it's going to be awesome. And they were talking about how just like the flying feels really good, how the cockpit detail is incredible and it stays very, very crisp. Even when you zoom in. And um, I saw that you can do startup like from cold. Yes. Yeah. That and, and there's that. like, there's like settings to do like startup from cold to go from like arcade all the way to like DCS level sim or close to DCS level sim, which is like the startup procedure and everything. Um, the only the only weird thing is, so I'm um, actually, I'm gonna look it up, I'm gonna look it up. Give me a second here. There are three versions of the game. The base version is what is free, um, is what is free with Sorry, I'm just looking up the version differences. So basically, depending on the version you get is the number of airports or the number of planes that you get. So the higher version you go, the more 
planes and airports you get. But just to say it, my understanding is you can take off from any airport you want in the game. But the... I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. But my... my this is a guess. This has not been confirmed by anybody. But my understanding is the airports that they're talking about being included um, are going to be fully realized. As in, they're going to have air traffic control. They're going to have working gates. They're going to have working runways where you will have to dodge traffic to get onto the runway, etc. Yeah. If that makes sense. It's so not the like base they're not version... including the other ones, but they're just not as professional. Exactly. So the, the base version has 30 airports, and then it's 35 for deluxe. It's 40 for premium. So, for example, I'm looking at um, Amsterdam Airport in the Netherlands is only in the deluxe and premium version. So my assumption is in the standard version, you can take off and land at that airport. But in the deluxe and premium versions, it will have a, a lifelike air traffic control. It will have runway and taxiway traffic. It'll have gate traffic, etc. Um, but that's still 30 live airports. You get 20 airplanes in the standard version and then 25 and 30 for the deluxe and premium versions. But I, I, they're, they're, they're definitely leaning into like the consumer flight sim because I don't really recognize a majority of these aircraft, but I watched a YouTube video and they were like, this is a good smattering of aircraft. And a lot of these are famous for being like great trainer aircraft or like, you know, the most popular four-seater aircraft of all time, you mm -hmm. know, the the most pro the most successful acrobatic airplane in the last 50 years, the 747, which speaks for itself, things like that. So yeah. they've got a nice smattering of aircraft as well. Yeah, I, um, I think I'll definitely be playing it because it's free on Game Pass, but I, I'm trying to decide if I might buy that middle version just to get access to a, a little bit more. But yeah, I think I think it's worth waiting until after launch. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, yeah. yeah, so I, I read the Polygon article, or I read most of it and skimmed the rest of it. But yeah, the only thing they really noticed, as far as like graphical hiccups, were like bugs about like your plane would just flip over at the terminal, oh. or he could drive through a thing, or he flew past Chicago, and all of the cars were driving up over the tall buildings. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty stuff. funny. So just like, but they basically chalked it up to like pre-release jitters and stuff like that. And the reason that yeah. they give that stuff out. Uh, um, Cuddle Kitty it, 001, we do not have fancy commands, but the list is actually above me. And you'll notice that it is empty. Uh, so if you have a level, I would love to play it. Absolutely. Um, did have a level. Magnificent <gasps> bastard. We're going to play it right now, buddy. What does S to S stand for? Ian. S sticks to stones. Oh, that's pretty good. That's way I, more uh, <laughs> I was watching the show Righteous Gemstones today, which is pretty funny. I'm sorry. And there's this part where a female character says, Come on, let's go to the back and take our shirts off and, and rub fronts and backs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I always think the beast with two backs is a funny phrase. Oh, my professor said that in college one time, and I, I was like, what? I loved it. So good. Um, Cuddly Kitty says this is one of their one-year Mario Maker 2 anniversary levels. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Um, well, it killed me one, already. There's one more thing with... Flight simulator that I was gonna talk about. We're definitely gonna do a multiplayer launch day stream. We gotta figure yes. out what we want to do. I think it's that we we all take off from the same airport and we do a short flight together. I think that's pretty much it, right? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I think that would be fun. Yes. We I all agree. show up in in. I don't want to say. I don't want to put too many restrictions on it, but I also like if somebody picks a 747 and somebody else picks like a bush plane, I think the speed difference is going to be too too much. So, but we'll we'll figure it out. Uh, 
Jovator, we do accept troll levels. Just throw them in the code. It, just throw the code yeah, in the chat. I won't make it far into any of them, but we do yeah, accept Yeah, that's them. why we actually have a four minute timer specifically for that reason. If the level's too difficult, we just move on after four minutes. Um, yeah, so just put the code in the chat and I'll add it to the list. The list is on the side of the screen. As you can see, it's actually empty right now. If you just what? believe. It's one more thing about Microsoft Flight Simulator that I wanted to talk about and I can't. Oh, it was the, the data usage. So so basically the way that it works is that it's streaming the terrain in over the internet. And I was curious to see how that actually works. And the Digital Foundry yeah. video said, he was like, hey, my internet's not that great, but I didn't have any issues with it. And over 10 hours of gameplay, I used about seven and a half gigs. Because in the game, it'll tell you how much data it has used so far. Wow. So it's like, it's actually working, which is crazy. Um, that it's actually streaming in that terrain, that weather, that air traffic control data, which takes a lot of the, the oomph off your local PC. So yeah, I'm very excited. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, how do I how do I shoot arrows? Um, I tell you, I'll tell you this, Joe Vader. If if we're playing your level and nobody else has submitted a level, we'll keep playing it even if the timer runs down. That's our promise to you. Yeah, that's our guarantee. Yes. Press start and then why? Press start, then why? Oh, oh, to look at the moves. Yeah. Oh. I, I figured it out. Damn! I didn't know that was there. I use that menu all the time when I have to do stupid 3D Mario bullcrap in this stupid game. How dare you? Oh, I did a bad thing. I did a very bad thing. Hi. Daddy's not good at this when you play it every six months. <laughs> <laughs> we, ha You have gotten much better, though. Oh, yeah. You freaking butt fart. <laughs> oh boy. You goofed it. You done Goofer Sutherland. My name's Goofer Sutherland. Uh... And I have accepted the role of Barack Obama in his biopic. I hate people who say biopic. They're stupid people. I, I say that. I know it's wrong, but for some reason... When I see the word biopic, I just think biopic. Yeah. I also hate people who touch monitors and then say they don't. I don't. I just, I misjudged the distance to your monitor. And I happened to touch it and you got all fed up about it. Not my fault. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Don't touch my monitor. It's my monitor. Don't touch it. Touch. Your monitor toucher. Listen, I yell at people for touching my monitor. I'm such a strict monitor toucher that I don't even touch my work monitor, which I don't wow. care about. That's pretty strict. <sighs> Please. Yes, I did it. I don't want to die. I want to experience this level. Yeah. No! Gosh. <laughs> poop. Okay, one more try. We got 40 seconds left, folks. I can do this. I am made of dreams. Oh, you! Woo! You still got time. You gotta, you gotta do another run, boy. Another run. <laughs> you better run, boy. Boy, you better do another run. My name's Spaghetti. Western Spaghetti. I don't want to. Oh shit! Oh, I'm made of cheese. Oh. He done spilled your Oops. cheese. Cuddly Kitten, 001. Good level, but I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I hit start over. Not exit quick. Uh, okay, we're on to Joa Vitor level. Hello. Uh, you know, this uh, this might be our last level. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. I'll allow of it. Of the night. Mostly because I'm sweaty and I'm tired. 
and uh, we're not getting a huge amount of traction, so might as well. Wow. And on a high note, it's on a troll all. level, just below average troll level for a just below average guy. Hey, thanks. It is a cool way to show the queue. Yeah, it does require two people. Basically, Will's playing and I'm running the spreadsheet, but yeah, I think it looks a lot better. Oh, oh don't worry, Jovator. We're, we're not going to play in, in multiplayer. Oh, yeah. we, we tried that once. It didn't really work well, so we don't do it. Although we did that in local. Did we do it online? The online wasn't that bad, right? I think we did try it online. It wasn't that bad. That's true. I'm excited for extra life. You got any? Uh, you got any new ideas? I was trying to. I think I came up with some today. Oh, for extra life. Yeah, I, we yeah. can definitely do Mario Party this year. <gasps> yes. Oh yes, I forgot the secret. I forgot. I figured all that stuff out. Yeah. We should definitely do an Arma mission. No, I think no. I don't think that's engaging enough for extra life. Well, it's on the list. You know, but you know what I could make? I could make a fluff mission where it's basically just kind of like a. You have unlimited artillery and you're in a tank and there's a helicopter. Kill all these people. You know, I could just make like an action movie mission. Um, I think that would be fun. There's also there's also it's easy to make like a set piece mission where like you're just one squad and it's like a giant 100 versus 100 mission. Ooh. So it's just like a lot of like, it's just like battlefield chaos. Dang it, I wonder if... Hmm. There. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I, I didn't start the level timer just because this is our last level. I figured I'd give this one a bit of a fair chance. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, there's a giant fish. I like the giant fish. Oh, wow. Rock yeah, was... the sun right at me. Um, yeah, I'm excited for extra life this year. Uh, we gotta come up with some some good ideas, some good. Uh... Nope, I did that again. Some good uh, stuff to get some donations in. All sorts mm -hmm. of fun stuff. Oh yeah, wheel of pain. Definitely some good incentives. Um. Will's Retro oh, Hour. I was trying to think of something. I do want to do a convertible ride. But I think it would be fun if there was something... I know we can't do this, but it would be funny if there was... Like a, a Euro Truck Simulator type thing for the East Coast. So like I would do a drive and then we would just kind of do a simultaneous drive. Like for example... Euro Truck Simulator, you're driving from your house down to Baltimore, from New York City to Baltimore and back to New York City, while split screen, I am taking an actual convertible drive around Baltimore. Oh, that's smart. But, but we can't do that because Euro Truck Simulator is not in there, so. Yeah. Crazy ideas. Um, oh, I didn't mean to exit the whole level. Oh, you dingle hopper. Uh, I'm, I'm going back. Wait. Wrong with me. I meant to hit Too start late. over. You gave up. Dude, no, I'll give it. I'll give it five more minutes. You goofed it. I'll go back in and I'll give it a full timer's work. Hi, my Hi. name's Ian. I goofed it. My name's Peppercorn Snicklecorn. You ever think about, you know, just women's breasts? 
player. I, I mean, no, I don't. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to hit. I always go to exit course when I don't mean to, and I always go to start. Start over. I always whenever. like accidentally press the start button. I always accidentally go down two, and then I accidentally hit A, and then back. And it, it's sorry, it's an accident. It hey, happens. what if you pooped on your own face and then never said hi to me ever again? <laughs> oh. Oh, can you imagine? Sun is evil! I don't like you! Oh. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Oh, man. And these stream days get long when I have to work. And it's not like I'm up any any longer. Really? Like, I still wake up at the same time. But, like, uh -huh. the day just gets so heavy because I, like, go to work. Yeah, you have less. Yeah. It's not like I'm relaxing all day. Yes. Gotcha. What am I supposed to do? Do, 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 do. Oh, was I supposed to jump up in there? Get away from me! Get away from me! Oh, no one likes you! Start over. Peter, Peter. All you know what we could do is there's plenty of like mechanic simulator games oh, other than my summer car, so we could totally do a a guide like we were doing where it's like we have to get this car working and yeah. I guide you through it, but I'm not allowed to look at game guides. I just have to talk about engines in real yeah. life. I actually you what? remind me, I have to go back and I was almost done with the car in that game. In my summer car? Yeah. I just had to do the electrical yeah. wiring. Oh, the harness? Yeah. Oops. And they updated it recently. Um, my my nephew wanted to buy that, and my sister was like, is this appropriate for him? And I was like, it has a button that lets you curse, and another button that lets you pee, and another button that lets you flip the bird, so probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'd be super informative if you could take all those parts out and just give him the guide. Yeah. Um, Jeffertor says he's surprised that fish got someone. I mean, it only got me because I literally was talking and not paying attention. But if you want to jot that one down, hey man, whatever makes you feel better. Hey, oh, I definitely do want to. I do want to do a VR segment for the stream. It's just a matter of perfecting with voice chat. Or worst case, I I just do it by myself for an hour, hour and a half. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, that'd be because fun. there is there's um, there's a couple interesting games that have come out in VR recently. One of them is I forget what it's called. I think it's just called Workshop or something. But basically, like you are in a garage making stuff, but like it's not simplified. So like to cut wood, you are moving your hand back and forth, and it is using that as the actual angle. So you can just like accidentally cut a board with like a like a 13 degree angle. You know, I like that. Um, there's another one I want to try, but it's, it's, I think it's 30 bucks by default. It's not quite, I want to wait for it to go on sale. It's called VTOL VR and people basically say it is DCS VR. It's like 75% of the DCS complexity, but it's really well done VR. So you're in it and you can just see all these buttons and hover over to see what they are and just press the buttons with your hands. Oh, and geez. people said, people who like are really into flight simulators and into DCS said they love this game because... They didn't realize how immersive and how much easier it is to fly in VR compared to a monitor. So that's definitely one of those genres that when you think about it, you can see that VR makes a big difference. You saw that uh, Flight Simulator has VR. It, okay, it, it does, it, it will. They say it will, and then I saw something today about how 
it's going to be exclusive to the the HP Reverb 2 for a while, which is real stupid. But yeah, it will have VR eventually, which is it's fun. Uh, Jovatory, yeah, let's get a hint. Yeah, give me a hint, and then uh, I'll not be able to understand it, and then uh, we can end this stream. I'm still thinking about getting a VR setup, but I think I'm going to wait until I have more room for it. Plus, I would, I would wait for the quest. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Because I don't know if you've been following, but the rift, like all that like finger touch stuff, that en enhanced sensing and finger sensing that the quest got, they have not said anything about the rift s getting that. So the rift s is definitely like becoming the second tier headset. There's a door in the bottom left. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Um, yeah. What were the reviews of the Index? They said it's really good. It's just not worth the price. Because isn't it a thousand? It's either a thousand or twelve hundred dollars for the full setup. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. oh, but you can't get back there. Um, the index, yeah, they basically just said it is 100% not worth the price. Hey there, Mega Mario Gamer 23. Um, we're actually about to end the old show here. Oh, um, but if you if you do want to submit your level, we'll play it first thing the next stream. Yeah. So if you just want us to play it, give us the code and we'll put it on the list, and we will get to it. Just not tonight. No. I, I don't see the code. I'm adding it to the list. Yeah, sorry. Eddie's getting tired. Even though we've only streamed for not that long. Um, oh, hour fifteen. That's true. How do I? Do I have to jump up without? Um, but in terms of VR headsets, I would say okay. I think the price point for a VR headset that I would say worth it is probably two hundred dollars, and right now it's basically it's basically four hundred or three fifty if you wait for like a Black Friday sale. So it's yeah. not quite there. There's just not enough good games. Honestly, Half Life Alex. I don't think Half Life Alex was that good. I think it was very well polished, but it was not that innovative, and the gunplay was honestly not that great. So. There's just not enough. Can I you know, go? if there was, if there were enough games, then 350 or 400 would be perfect. But there's just not enough games. So. I don't know how to. I'm gonna. Okay, that's gonna be it for today. But I'm gonna come back to that one honestly. I don't know how you that. Sleep on it. I can sleep on it. Folks, thanks for watching. Sorry for cutting this a little bit short, but thank you for watching. Man, this new light is bright, especially when I'm sweaty. Um, this has been another Subpixel stream. Please like, comment, and subscribe on our Twitch, or if you are on YouTube, do that on YouTube. Subpixelfilms.com bring us straight to our YouTube channel. Folks, I am working on the next episode of the Dwarf Fortress stories for Oak Crafts. And then there'll probably be a part three because I feel like that place is coming, crashing down. Um, because every time I go back to it, I've forgotten everything. Uh, catch you thank later, Joe Vitor. <gasps> I got the thank you, stranger. Oh, I love it. I love that. Dragon thank Lore you. will always be one of my favorite games ever. God, so good. Same with Time, Time Gate. That's another good game. Which Jake has inspired me. I think I'm going to email... Um, <clears throat> Some of the designers, because that Timegate game, they were planning to make three games, and there's got to be, like, some sort of plan somewhere. And I want to <sighs> ask what what their plan was. Because there's, like, a mini behind-the-scenes thing that came out with it, too. Anyways, I, I digress. Um, Ian, thank you for joining me. You are awesome. And people can find Hi. you where on the internet? You can find me on Twitter, as in Gibson, where I've been posting a lot about, guess what, Gunpla, couldn't stop talking about it, can't stop tweeting about it. Yeah, it's pretty awful. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. I tweet mostly about dumb stuff. I really don't tweet 
I don't really know what I tweet about. Anyways, uh, Saturday night at 9 p.m., Ian is hosting a stream. We are doing something. What are we doing, Ian? We're not so, sure yet. Copy. We are not so, sure yet. But next Tuesday but, mm -hmm. is our next Arma stream. If you like Arma, check it out. We failed our mission on Tuesday, which means Command Command wasn't very happy. I, I hate to report let me, this. Let me put it this way. Even if you don't like Arma, it's pretty good... Arma is an interesting, unique game, and if you want to see some three bros just try and, like, survive in the middle of a very intense, realistic war zone, it's a, it's a good stream. It's a good yes, stream, folks. I agree. But let's just say Command wasn't happy, so we got a new mission coming out that's going to be fun. Anyways, until then, folks, check out our YouTube channel. Check out our stream archive on our YouTube channel or the past two weeks' uh, worth of streams on our Twitch and until next time, I'm Will Crosby, and you 